Hello, my loves. <laughs> Welcome back to our home base, Bahati Life YouTube channel. Look at this. Wow, we're getting off to a great start. It's so funny because I'm just going to dive right in. Um, while I was shuffling the cards and pre preparing them and, you know, blessing them and blessing the space, I was talking to Spirit and I'm like, oh, well, you know, what's the vibe? Like, what's going to be the vibe this week? Of course, we know astrologically what we can expect. We I think the majority of us have the complete guide to 2022, the book that I wrote for the year ahead. So we know what to expect astrologically, but energetically and intuitively, what are we each channeling? What am I additionally channeling for this week? And the energy felt so vast, like it felt so open. It still, still feels very open. So to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure what to expect from this reading. I think that we should just keep our energy open because anything can happen right now, you know, not in a bad way, but like, who knows, like who knows what's going to come through in this week's reading. I'm here for it. It feels good, but you guys know, I don't look at things good or bad. I just see it for what it is. So let's just take a moment real quick to connect with our ancestors, connect with our guides, connect with the divine, connect with our higher selves and ask, what do we need to hear individually this week? What messages are here for us individually this week? Spirit, I invite in the energy of discernment and clarity and precision. I invite in your guidance, your wisdom I consult you for advice. I consult you for things that I need to hear, things that I need to receive, messages that I need to receive, that I need to deliver. Allow me to channel these messages in a way that is constructive and healing and cathartic to those that need them. Give them peace this week. Um, so funny. I'm hearing the words. It's like it's being said at the same time. Um, divine rearranging and enough is enough. That is divine rearranging and enough is enough. When I hear both of those things, those sentences at the same time, the enough is enough feels like something from the past, something that I just heard the word snuffed out, something that you, you, you put out, you put, you put it out. Like it's like putting a candle flame out. You just, I feel like this is something that you have done or you were called to do. I feel, um, rem I'm hearing the word remembrance, like you're remembering or like you're going to get reminders of it this week, why you did what you did. Um, spirit is saying you have, gl uh, greater clarity um, I, wow. Okay. I just heard the word you are not concierge. <laughs> okay. So, or the sentence is you are not concierge. So you're not meant to be of service to this person in this way, or you are not to be meant to be of service in that way, showing up in that way, that shape or form. That's why it was snuffed out. Look at this five of cups and two of cups at the very base of the reading. Interesting. Five of cups, as you guys know, is about disappointment. It's about the loss, that natural feeling of loss that we have as human beings when we just experience life, you know, just good, like even having a good thing comes with the the easy parts of the feelings that we love and the feelings that are a little uncomfortable. And then two of cups is, of course, partnership and union coming together. I'm hearing joy and recognition. I'm, I'm actually seeing in my third eye a bird showing up and calling out, singing a song. There's, there's some, it's like your soul speaks. Your soul is recognizing. Um, it's not the word reward. It's like your soul is singing out what you can say, what you have done, what you have achieved, what you have accomplished. It's celebrate. It's a very celebratory. We have the queen of wands here and the two of cups. So this has something to do with you breaking apart or breaking away from 
uh, for your own advancement is what I'm hearing. F um, for your own greater good, like something that feels really good. For some reason, I'm seeing a Bible. Someone is referring to a text, like a sacred text of some sort. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Bible. It could be a book. It could be motivation. It could be writing something. And like spirit wants to acknowledge that, celebrate that and say, yo, look what you have done. This is amazing. Call out, celebrate it, sing, rejoice. This feels very uplifting. It feels very cathartic. If it wasn't, it's, the spirit is drawing me to the breaking down or the separation that had to occur in intimate relationships in order for this to happen. If you were stuck, you know, still in the same place in a relationship or in a certain job or in a certain position, you would have continued to show up or be you would begin to show up as concierge almost at someone's beck and call when spirits like we're going to separate you from this thing, this place, the situation so that you can. Um, I just heard the word outgrow the situation and grow into, you know, your your next level. I heard. I, I OK, I just heard the word fellowship. There's something that you might be writing, you're contributing to something like a brotherhood or a sisterhood or creating a community, creating, uh, creating, I just heard the word, actually I heard catering to a community, a certain group of like-minded people. I see you as a leader. I see you as, even if you might not be the leader of this group, you contribute a lot to this group, It's but you wouldn't have been able to do that if you were still in this past relationship. Spirit is bringing up the word lineage. I don't know why. Um, while I'm asking in my intuitive head, like what, why lineage is here, I want to talk to you guys about another message before I forget. Um about removing crystals off of your body. Some of you guys have crystals in your space or crystals on your body that it's time you've outgrown them quickly. So it's time, or maybe you've had a, a crystal on you for a long time and you it's absorbed a lot of energy. It needs to be taken off of the body and put out to recharge, to be cleansed. It needs to be put in a dark place just to like clean, cleansed with, with water, um, salt water. And then also... Um, it needs to be put to rest in a dark place, specifically a dark place, tucked in a, a, draw, a drawer. Spirit says, take it off of your body. Interesting. Okay, talk to me about lineage. I just heard, where did we come from? Where did we go? Where did we come from? Katna Joe. And the reason why I think that that's coming through is because it's literally spirit is saying where you've come from. And where you're going. Um, they're saying. Wait, say, say it again. Like, uh, repeat the mistakes of the past. Repeating the mistakes of the past. Some things of the past um, that your ancestors, it's like a pattern. It's familiar to you. It can, I just heard, uh, could you, console, console, console. Console, console. Okay, so you're, again, there's this emphasis on your ancestors, but it kind of feels like they're taking a step back. I mean, they're still very hands-on, but they're kind of taking a, a step back because I feel like last week was a bit more intense and this week is a bit more um, like not soothing, but like, okay, wow, like a breath, like a breath of fresh air, like a breath, like a sigh. Yeah, two of, two of. So they're kind of giving you a break. I feel like something's about to happen. It's not going to be this week, though. I feel like something's about to happen next week. You may see little signs of it. Who's watching you? Who are you watching? Speak to me on this. There's something here. Spirit, spirit, spirit. Someone's put stop drinking. Three of Swords. Someone stopped drinking. Someone can't. I just heard canceled plans. They're canceling plans or want to cancel plans. They want to talk to you. They want to connect with you. They're seeing what you're doing. They want to create. They want to. I just heard build a backbone. <laughs> it was like build a bear, but build a backbone. They, they're they working up a backbone in order for you to. <clears throat> they They feel forced to do this. They feel like spirit is forcing them to do this. 
They feel like they owe you something. They, there's this emphasis on the word karma. They don't think that this is something that can pay off. They feel a little hopeless in this situation. So, but it, they feel like they have to clear the air is what I'm hearing. Clear the air. Their conscience, their conscience is not right. Um, someone might have done something under the influence or acts differently when they're under the influence, drugged or drugs, on drugs. I don't know why that's coming through, but that's a specific message for someone. They feel, um, spirits, talk to me. It's like the person who's on top is now on the bottom. <laughs> Look at this. Now they're defensive, on edge. They want to clear the air. They want to get rid of. I feel like they're fighting there. So five of wands is very competitive, but this feels very internal. Hmm. Yeah, they want to, this is um, page of cups. Talk to me about this card. I'm hearing the word recognition. They want to recognize you. They want to recognize what you've done. They want to... It's funny because this guy's like has a toast. Like he's making a toast to someone. I feel like you might... They might have actually been toasting you privately, quietly. It feels a little gossipy, but it's not gossip. It's like things that they don't have the confidence to say directly to your face. So they say that to everybody else. Or there's a, a plan that's been going on behind the scenes. People speaking on your... Uh, and even as I'm hearing that, like my... Or even, yeah, even as I'm hearing that and saying that, my I'm hearing my ear kind of go out. Like the, the noise in the ear just kind of... For those of you guys that like know when spirit's speaking, that's it. That, it's that feeling. I don't know how to describe it, but it's people who are saying things like your name is in people's mouths, you know. And there's one person in particular that wants to reward, recognize you, celebrate you. Someone is waiting. I heard something needs to be done. They there's something that needs to be done. There's something that needs to be given. Their spirit is saying they need to be coerced. We're co coercing them. We're trying to pull them, not pull them, but give them. <laughs> spirit says make them more ambitious because there's a part of them that's a little bashful, sheepish. So they want to give them the ambition, the energy to kind of come out of their cave a little bit and, and speak to you, give to you. But I don't know if it's going to be this week, but spirit wants you to know that it's happening. It's occurring. Some of you guys might get it early, earlier than others, and it would be like around like Wednesday. I don't know why I'm getting, I'm really strongly getting like Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays. Um, things just need to calm down at the start of the week. There needs to be a breath of fresh, or this person's taking a breath of fresh air, or taking a, a breath, you know, relaxing first before... I'm hearing bon voyage, like before they, they might actually be on a trip. I know we see the chariot heart card here, but I'm not actually getting it from the chariot, but they might actually be on a trip or on a venture or leaving. And they, that's when they have a, a, a moment of clarity or that's when clarity strikes and then they're able to speak. Okay. We have three of cups, three of wands. Wait, speak to me on that. That's queen of swords. I just heard liquid courage. Yeah, so someone might really be... I heard the word inebriated, but it's, it's actually... It doesn't out just apply to someone who's drinking or under the influence of something. It, it could be something that... Um, like when they're... It could be something that not clouds their judgment, but distracts them temporarily, but for a good few hours. Some people are um, a little promiscuous. As I'm saying that, there's two butterflies that are... Uh, how do I say this? <laughs> Flying by my window, but they're definitely... 
uh, doing the dirty. <laughs> so cute. Um, so someone might be might have indulged in some promiscuous behavior. I'm seeing this on a vacation or out somewhere like like a weekend, like something might have happened over the weekend. Um, it's Monday now, so I wouldn't be surprised. But it's like someone just did something like. I'm sorry, guys, this reading is just all I don't want to say all over the place, but and let me know if it resonates because I have no idea what this is. I can't relate. Holy crap. Why is there two chariots? What the heck? How did that happen? I don't have two cards, do I? Or two decks? Well, I mean, this is a freaking message, y'all. Like, we have the two chariots here. What is this? This, I, I, is, this is so interesting to me, guys, because I typically feel very clear. This feels so open-ended. It's like someone saying a, like wrote a sentence and then it's like you fill in the blank. You tell the story like you tell I don't think that that's a the card. Okay, wow. Hey man. What's going on, spirit? Speak to me because you you're really leaving it open-ended for me, which is fine, but They said come to your own conclusion. Everyone's going to have to come to their own conclusion. Everyone's going to have their own conclusion their own uh spirit is talking in the means so there's this this the emphasis of before wednesday making a plan for this week as it's like very yeah four of swords before wednesday make a plan for this week like what you need to do some of you guys are going to be cleaning up some of you guys are going to be checking emails you know it's like this clean up process um some of you guys are gonna be meal prep it feels very like everyday normal activities it feels very you know things just putting putting things in in the order that, that they belong taking care of the home front taking care of the body you know just and then wednesday feels like yeah justice something comes in on wednesday or the days following that into next week. Wow, the lovers. Something is definitely coming in here. Speak, 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 speak. It's something that which you deserve. Working on it. This could be news. Hangman wants to jump out again. Someone took a lot of time. Spirit forced this person or forced you into a period of, I'm hearing recognition, right? But now the word is shifting. Like I'm literally seeing it kind of like tie-dye blending into like recognizing the fault, recognizing the faults within, recognizing how the stars within our bodies like align. That's how spirit is, is describing it. It's like what, if you pull your astrological chart, you're gonna see your strengths, you're gonna see your weaknesses. And this person has been taking extra time, this could be you, in order to, or someone else, in order to actually really reflect and recognize where they are the problem, you know? Or where they can do things differently or where they sh they, they went wrong or where they could have shown up in a different way. Um, Spirit always uses, is, Lately, this year and a half, they've been using the word performance a lot. And I'm recognizing it now that it's not about performance, meaning like it's not in the traditional sense. It doesn't mean that you're showing up for the world and you're just putting on a show. It's how you, what it actually, what Spirit is teaching me and showing me as I'm doing these readings, and I, they keep using the same word, is it's about how you understand yourself to be so that's how you react it's your habit it's your instinctual reaction to things like how you react to the world and someone something somewhere has recognized where they are the problem and they want to i don't say reconcile but make make it like almost 
make a vow to do better because of the situation that you guys have gone through. Let's say this has to do with a company or a business. This is something that you have learned, like you've learned a lot along the way, and now that you've learned what you've learned, now you're doing things better. Now you're doing things differently. Now you have a lot of growth, and now you're implementing all these pieces, right? So if you were to continue and carry on the same way, um, it would have been, it would become poisonous because you've learned that that doesn't serve you. It doesn't serve your clients. It doesn't serve your customers. It doesn't serve the collective. It doesn't serve, it doesn't serve the brand, whatever, but you've taken some time to sit back, to pull back, to reflect, to do differently, to tweak some things. And this, this message can apply to business brands, relationships, health. It's fill in the blank for each of you. Hmm. I do feel the start of the week. I see that this um, spirit is showing like the spirit of enjoyment and pleasure and fun, <laughs> which is so funny there. I went this past weekend. Yeah. Six of swords. It just helps you this past weekend. I went to a Steve Aoki concert which was awesome. Just so awesome. Such a vibe, man. Oh my God. We had so much fun. We listened to our intuition, me and my one girl, five of cups. We listened to our intuition and then we left like right, right after his set was up. We were like, yeah, it's time to go. And as soon as we left, man, this shit hits a fan. <laughs> Always listen to, your, listen to your intuition. Not for us. Like we were good. Yeah, there's some major change happening here. It's funny, too, because I posted on my my personal Instagram, um, 555555555. And that's just, like, what I felt. But honestly, there's a change in the air. Look, we got 55 here. Anyways, I'm seeing, yeah, Three of Swords. This is lessening the heartache, apologizing for a heartache, making things right for something that was disappointing. Um... So they're, they're saying the word cajol, like cajole or something like that, like making something, turning a sad song into a sweet song and kind of turning it into a jingle. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Um, Page of Cups wants to jump out again. Spirit, 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 speak. Yeah, Page, someone's going to offer something. Justice card, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like someone is, oh, you are owed something. You owe something. Some of you guys might really be taken care of some, uh, I just keep hearing the words fill in the blank. So for everyone's, it's going to be different. Spirit really wants it to be different for every, every person. It just seems like such a normal reading, you know? And then all of a sudden it feels like things are going to take off. Interesting. So I feel like this is going to just be a, a week where you're, is there anything else that we need to hear? Yeah. Something's coming in. There's messages. What speak, 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 speak. feels like a very put down the what put down the what oh put down the anxiety put down the tension stop worrying about it you're in good hands pray speak to us i am your god i just heard i am your god and um, these are your ancestors too coming through ten of pentacles Yeah, something is coming in. Look at all the messengers we have. We have Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. All these pages just ready to kind of break the silence. Magician, communication, hardcore. Definitely some communication coming through. Someone is getting empowered. Someone is going to start speaking. Someone's going to start apologizing. Someone's going to be making some offers. Someone's going to be booking a trip. Someone's going to be doing some planning. It feels like the major planning or major conversations that are happening at the start of the week are for things that are to come. So some of you guys may be planning trips. Some of you guys may be going somewhere. Yep. Ace of Wands. 
page of swords. That's the final page. All the pages are out here. Five of swords, nine of cups, two of swords. This is something that's been stagnant, stuck, stuck in the mud, stuck, no progress, no, are they ever going to learn? Is this ever going to happen? It's like this, are you fucking kidding me type of vibe that's coming through three of cups. Just been, this person, this thing has just been a little distracted. And by a little distracted, I mean a lot of distracted. Um, so they're not really thinking so much. It's in the back of their mind, but it's not the forefront of their mind. So it's been a little, I heard caught off guard. Something kind of caught, caught them off guard, a feeling. Spirit kind of jumped in in this and was like, enough is enough. Oh, didn't I say that at the very beginning? Enough is enough. They're intercepting it and they're saying, um, we, we had to kind of disrupt their pattern, their way, in order for them to remember that there is a resume sitting on their desk. There's a, a, a trip that needs to be planned. There's a letter that needs to be delivered. There's a text message that needs to be sent. Something. Um, but I do see a, a, a brief moment of, of, of grace, like a grace period is what I'm hearing at the very start of the week. I would use the start of the week in order to clean, in order to just do some work. Quiet work, kind of calm. It feels very calm. Yeah, Knight of Knight, I'm sorry, King of Cups. I'm sorry, I did not mean to disrespect this card. I can't imagine being a king and being called a knight. Um, yeah, just very. It's like doing what's what you need to do, like not even just for the logic, but for the emotional feeling. Yeah, just you just feeling good, like you just taking care of what needs to be taken care of. Some of you guys need to move some appointments around. <laughs> You really need to move some appointments around. Some things were missed. Some things didn't fit your schedule. So just, I, I do see an adjustment here, like readjusting the calendar. This feels very, very basic. Like it feels very day-to-day, -day, like mundane activities, you know, mowing the lawn, like just very, very simple. Like I, some, you know, normally, and maybe that this is like a good thing, you guys. You, we've been talking about some heavy shit lately. And, um... Yeah, let's see what we have here. I'm very interested in seeing what... I mean, there's not much to to, to say right now. I'm just... It just feels very open. I, I can't force a message if it's not there. You know? I'm here for it, though. I'm really, really... I'm really, really here for it. I just feel someone calling out. Someone singing out. Someone write, wrote a book, someone dropped something, like meaning like release something. And it's just, you're just taking care of it. You're, you're for three days, you're just celebrating it or doing what you have to do in order to, you know, tweak some things. And then all of a sudden it's like good times, like, like let the good times roll. Like you just are celebrating. I don't know. I don't know. To each their own. Everybody's going to have a different. I mean, I guess I could relate to this, you know, in my own life now that I'm thinking about it. But. All right, what do we have here? I feel like there's one more. Spirit wants to ground and stabilize this reading. There it is. All right. All right, what do we have here? <laughs> Expansion. Yeah, it's so funny because this is the last. I do feel like it's going to be just so much growth like tremendous growth is is occurring about to occur but for right now you're you're taking care of checks and balances doing what you have to do in order to when you expand you know when things start taking off if you guys need to clean if there's some things that you need to because the last few weeks we, there's been a lot of cleaning energy a lot of cathartic energy major transformation it just feels like this week you did it you might be finalizing it. You might be, it's like someone having makeup on their face and like, this is a metaphor, but it's so relatable. Having makeup on your face, you know, because you're, you know, getting ready, you know, for this. And then you show up for the world with your, you know, best face on. If, you know, for those of you guys that wear makeup and then you do your hair, you, you, you dress the outfit up. And now it's like, now this week is when you're taking the makeup off, you know, cleaning your face, putting away the mess of what, happened you know with when you were doing your you know putting your makeup on or doing a face mask it's very like routine it's like routine maintenance is how this feels and this little calm and I don't even want to call it calm before the storm but everybody clearly is about to have their own their own story their own 
I don't know why I'm hearing the word revenue. So you might be, there's like preparation for something to come, transcending. Interesting. So this is like a, a you know, things are changing. I feel like I'm actually going backwards. Transcending. Things are definitely transcending. Things are definitely shifting, moving. Chaos. Storm. Okay, now I need to know. Freedom. I high key love this reading as benign as it as it feels. It feels very very good. I'm okay. Speak speak speak. And what what I'm noticing is a lot of wings here. A lot of a lot of wings. Even in the the card chaos, I feel like if a lightning bolt was to strike, you're not going to sit there. You're going to grow your wings. You're going to fly. And this card expansion is literally soaring. So, and transcending is you going to the next level. Freedom is you having the freedom to soar. So, I feel as though space was needed, space was taken. You did what you had to do. You did what needed to be done. You're doing what needs to be done. And taking that time to plan, to... I keep hearing the word perform, but to show up and do the work, you know, is about to take off. There's a little bit of quiet this week, but it feels good. It really does feel good. I can't complain about this at all. Let's do Wisdom of the Avalon by Colette Baron reed It's like something is about, and then I'm also getting a lot of messengers, like a message coming through or something that you're seeing um, coming through. Spirit speak, please. I just heard calm, cool, collected. I just heard um, thy, rod, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And then I also at the same time I heard bite me. <laughs> so um, someone's a little snarky and they have these boundaries that they're just like, I'm protecting my peace. So good luck trying to get in. Like you just, it's not going to happen. You're, 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 you're so... Yeah, the wind fairy. So thoughts, words, intellectual analysis. This is doing what you need to do, just kind of closing out. It's like cleaning. I don't see it closing out. I see it like cleaning, just removing, like wiping clear, you know, just it feels very nice. It does. It does feel really nice. Yeah, protection, dude. Didn't I just say that? And I'm with this card protection. It's like thy rod and thy staff. They, they comfort me. So it's like, and that in itself is from the Bible. And it's a mantra, an affirmation, a spell, a spell, sorry guys, of, of protection. It's like being under the protection, the cloak of God, of the divine. As I'm seeing this, this the wind fairy with her wings, something's going to come through. Someone's afraid that you're going to bite at them when they reach out or when they, like you might, it took them too long or they might, you might reject them or you're afraid of reaching out and you might be rejected. It's just like, do it anyways. The fire fairy, creative action, and optimism, and this has to do with what is to come. So if I were you, and I can't tell you what to do, that's not even, I would never, I don't, that's not my desire, but I would take the start of this week to just get my shit together, you know, clean, do what needs to be done before things really start taking off. Her gaze is very intense, like it's almost very distracting. Something is very valued here. Someone's going to hear, like, I really value you. Like, I really appreciate you. I, I I, don't see it so much as a heavy promise of I'll do whatever it takes, but it's like I want you to know that I respect you. There was this really strong message of I, I, very, res I very much respect you. I, I heard I did not keep my promises. I let you down is what I'm hearing. 
And ultimately, it's like Spirit just showed me someone peeling back the layers. And it was this belief of them feeling like they didn't have what it takes. They're not trying to make a major promise. But they want to give some type of offering. Some type of, if it helps. It's like this quote of like, if it helps. Deep knowing is the next card. Then we have chaos and conflict. So there's a lot of chaos here, right? I feel like out of the chaos, out of... This, the word chaos, look guys, chop wood. This is literally what I'm telling you. It's the start of the week is about you chopping wood, taking care of your errands, taking care of, you know, greasing your scalp, like doing what you gotta do that you, that needs to be like just routine things, you know? Buy the book. Interesting. This is giving me like, pay, like, pages to being turned here like things that need to be said something that's deviating like someone broke free from an old way of life an old way of thinking they had oh they had a revelation a while ago but now it's just been sitting there it's like sitting on their desk or sitting in their the back of their car like it's something that's like an area of life that's neglected and now they're just all right, like enough spirits, like, all right, we'll let them see what they do. And then they didn't do anything. And now they're like, all right, now we got to fucking come in with the one, two punch. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of something that my friend said this weekend. It's so funny. Yo, my girls are hilarious. I think my girls are funnier than my guys in my life. They're just so funny. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyways, Spirit, what would you like us to hear, know, feel, receive before we say goodbye? <laughs> all there is to love has been there all along. I don't know. When I saw this, I heard the word provider. Someone who wants to provide, but they didn't feel like they could provide. It's like a person who wants to give the best of the world, but they, it's like perfectionism or something. And they, they burn out before they're even able to begin because they, they're so overwhelmed by their own expectations or they keep putting it off because they can't, they're afraid they're not going to be able to say the right thing or do the right thing. So they keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, and then it never ends up getting done. Yeah, look, everyone is doing their best. And that's really what spirit wants. It's like they just want you to show up. They just want you to try. You don't have to get it right in the first shot or you don't have to. And you can't force anybody to get it right. And you can't force yourself to get it right. It is what it is. But they just want you to show up. They want you to try. Just do your best. Like focus on the effort, you know. Don't focus on the outcome. Don't focus or put a prayer out there. Those you love, love you. I'm um, also with this, I heard the words, it never went away. The feelings of respect, the feelings of admiration, the feelings of love, adoration, those are things that never went away. They never escaped me is what I'm hearing. They never left. I've, I've really held on to you all this time. I really loved you all this time. Things have been very chaotic lately, not only within between us, but within myself and I, I'm hearing I have to tell you everything later. Earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way. Yes, you will be surprised. So I, I do feel like you're gonna hear from someone. I mean, clearly all the pages showed up. It starts off a little small with maybe someone checking your Instagram or look, the wind fairy, someone's trying to think of what to say they might even be overthinking. It's uh, It gives me like performance, like where they don't want to like fuck it up or they know that they're facing rejection or you're facing rejection, but they still have it in them to try. Spirit is really pushing you or pushing this person in order to speak up and speak out, which I did say in the very beginning of this reading, I did say that they're like, Spirit says enough is enough. Like not in a bad way, but it's like we gave you enough grace period, enough time for you to get yourself together. And if we wait any longer, you're going to keep procrastinating. You're going to keep putting it off and then you're never going to do it. 
So, all right, one last message. I don't know why, I just, just need to. Messages from your Animal Spirit Guides by Stephen D. Farmer. I feel like there's a, something's coming in. I feel like... It's so funny, like, I, it's like the start of the week is quiet, but it's like a delivery is about to be dropped off, and then all of a sudden it's like you're unpacking all of this stuff. So if this is a physical thing, then sure. We'll read that later. Um, if this is a physical thing, then fine. You know what I mean? Like, clearly, whatever. But it's like someone drops a letter. <laughs> it's like Harry Potter. <laughs> it's like someone says, like, drops a letter, says one small thing, and then all of a sudden it's like word vomit. Like, it all just comes shooting out. Like, ugh. Oh, goodness. God bless him. One more. What I am noticing is these cold animals. <laughs> we have the polar bear. We have the elk. We have the penguin. Like, all of these animals are have a thick layer of blubber around them to protect them from the cold. And actually, now that I'm saying that, this has something to do with the person's self-protection, self-perverence. It's how they... Um, protect themselves clearly from, from harshness. You know, they don't like, they're very soft on the inside. They're focusing on their survival. So they protect themselves. So the penguin here is the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. Exactly. So you're definitely coming out of a darker time. This person, this thing's coming out of a darker time. If you've been sitting in the dark over something, you're finally going to hear that call of something coming over the horizon, looking for you. Say has something to say, something to deliver. Elk says, stand tall, maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. So again, this is you. Some of you guys are going to hear some news, and you're going to want to be like, oh, now you want to come back. Like, it's like that type of vibe. Or now you want to hire me. Now you want to connect. Now you want to work together. Now you want to collab. And Spirit's like, you know, just maybe hold your tongue. <laughs> you know, make sure that you're not speaking from your ego or you're not responding from your ego. And that you're responding from a very place, a very um, mentally, emotionally, spiritually um, mature place is the word that spirit is saying. Polar bear, we said stand up for yourself. Look at that. See, stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. Exactly. So if someone is learning how to do that. You'll be on the receiving line of that. That's literally what it is that I'm feeling. All this reading is a message, some, some type of communication, some type of... Okay, finally, enough is enough. It's time to speak up. You know, it's time. This is going to happen. Don't push anything. All right? Unicorn. Indulge your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. And then the cardinal, the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. So this is literally, for me, this is that chop wood. And what it is that I've been saying, that this week is going to be a lot about doing what needs to be done. You know, taking care of what you need to take care of. Um, I don't know why I just keep seeing someone like braiding their hair, greasing their scalp, um, doing their makeup, very much self-care. Um, it doesn't feel like a person sitting back and reading a book, although there may be that it's, it feels very relaxing, but active, like a very active relaxation. Um, for me, I find myself being relaxed when I'm out in the garden, taking care of my chickens, whipping up body butters, working my magic. You know, those things are very relaxing, relaxing to me, but those are the things I normally go to. This that I'm feeling is a bit more passive. It's not so physically active. It's more staying inside the house a little bit more quiet, um, sweeping the corners of the home, dusting things, just kind of like routine maintenance, just nice things that make you feel really, really good. Um, yeah, just getting your affairs in order really is what it is that I'm seeing. What makes you feel unique? What makes you feel good? All right, my loves, literally that was the easiest reading and most it kind of makes sense like at the very beginning of of the reading i was just like it just feels very open-ended um feels very calm is the word it feels very very calm and that clearly it is okay so you guys have to let me know please i i you know when i do these readings i i know you may not think that i'm invested but i am i'm very invested i i really want to know how things pan out and how things play out okay let's what is the mantra for this week? What is the affirmation? Uh, cool, calm, and collected. That's it. Cool, calm, and collected is the mantra for this week. If this, 
if this reading resonates or helps in any way, <laughs> let me know down in the comments. Um, also, just anything that shows up, <laughs> flies in through your window, or we're also, I can't remember if we're in the Mercury retrograde uh, shadow uh, phase right now, or if we're nearing it, but either way, don't be surprised, <laughs> because you will be surprised. <laughs> Uh, yeah, something's about to pop off. Well, not in like a scary way. This feels very, feels very good. Feels very calm. It feels like, it feels like you can control this. It feels very like we got this. Like, don't worry about it. The last thing I want you guys to do is to worry. Like, don't worry. I've always say this to you. If you see me running or if I tell you to run, then run. This is not the time to run. All right. Some things from last week, the readings of a last week may come to play. So just kind of like look out for that especially when it comes to my environmental predictions that i was i was seeing i still kind of feel that well not kind of i still feel that we're not out of the woodwork when it comes to you know a natural disaster of some sort but i don't see you guys i don't see a need to panic okay well cool calm and collected you guys leave that down in the comments please if this message resonates it's also an affirmation it's a, a power charge word sentence that we can use this week in order to keep us literally on track and that's what spirit is saying um use that mantra in order to approach your obstacles or challenges or the your week whatever it looks like stay cool calm and collected just remind yourself use those words okay until then i'm sending you guys all of my love if you need me you can find me in bahati life apothecary of course that is the home base where I work my magic for myself, for my clients, for you. Um, I do believe that we have a shop update coming up. But I can't remember because I have everything written down in my planner. My planner is in my office, which I'm about to go go get. All right, you guys, I'm sending you all my love. Uh, cool, calm, collected down in the comments. And make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.